Hi, I'm Sonia, and due to being this is a collective tarot reading. Don't try and force a crowd to fit, it might belong to a different king or queen, and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what resonates to leave the rest of someone else, and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers, I will not reach out to you for a page reading, you have to reach out to me first. Through my website or my Facebook page, message me on either of those or my email. Um, so the cards that I use are Mystic Dreamer Tarot by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore and Gilded Tarot by Kira Machetti. So hopefully you're doing very well and you're having, having a great week. I'm just going to ring the bell so quiet in your ears if you need to. Yes, let's get into it. Right. It looks like you're starting out on a new opportunity. This could be a new job or new some sort of like promotion. Something, someone could be donating a lump sum of money. You could be coming into the lottery or whatever. But it is, so you're going into a new beginning, but there's also still a lot of burden. You're carrying a lot of burden. You're needing to drop something, um, so, you know, to lighten the load. So just seen a bird fly over, so you need to lighten the load so that you can fly. So it looks like you could be carrying a lot of something, or someone you know is carrying a lot of something. Because we have a tower. It's a sudden ending, shocking event where something is coming to an end and looks like it's going to be surprising. It could be a new job opportunity. Maybe there's something that you've been carrying so heavily and you're going into a new job or something and it's going to be a shocking event. It's going to be a bit of a sudden happening. It could be a sudden ending, some sort of shocking thing that's going to happen and it's going to just be shock horror. Not horror, but it's sort of like more much needed shake-up. So a much needed shake up is bringing in this tower, which is a sudden ending, possibly. So spirit brings in this tower, if things are not built to last and it's built on faulty foundation, they'll bring in the tower to cause some sort of ending. So this could be uh, could be some sort of uh, marriage situation. It could be an agreement or something. So this is the challenge here, this is some sort of agreement Maybe it's like, you know, something which, you know, like a marriage or whatever, or some sort of contract, which actually could be like a karmic situation. It could be a marriage, karmic, you know, relationship, something where you stay stuck, bound, gagged, and blindfolded. Take off the blindfold and smell the roses, my goodness. Because also you have these beautiful roses around you. Look at those daffodils and lovely things. This is a uh, beautiful feminine energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this person is very abundant. So this is Taurus as well, so this could be like a Taurus, because this reading is for Cancer. So it looks like you could be dealing with a feminine energy who could be a boss. It could be a boss, or it could be, you know, mother energy, someone nurturing and loving. So this could be some sort of situation that you've been stuck in, a marriage or some sort of thing where it's like a karmic situation. Going round and round your head, this is a self-imposed prison. Time to wake up and smell the roses or the daffodils. <laughs> this in past, you've had somebody a little bit immature who was all about the passion. They were just about the one energy. They could be a uh, Leo Sagittarius and Aries. They don't have to be. They're just someone a little bit immature, it looks like. There's some sort of trickery, thievery, some sort of betrayal, some sort of sneaky behaviour, it looks like. And also, crying over spilt milk. Someone's focused on this disappointment. Someone is focused on these cups that are spilt. I'm not realising there's two more in reserve. That's a soulmate here. Soulmate relationship that's been left behind, ignored, and just pretty much walked away from. Somebody's been all about the wand energy and they just walked away from the soulmate, it looks like. So you're getting justice over this. This is Libra energy. You don't have to be Libra, but it looks like there could be Libra. Or it could be that this is actually a balancing of the scales after this sort of trickery and thievery. This is nasty behaviour. So that's 5-5 five five as well. So look up there if that's relevant to you. So the recent past, you've had happiness and joy. You're starting to feel a lot better. This is Leo energy. This is definitely Leo energy. You have double sun, so you are really feeling happy. This is like really positive sort of vibes coming through here. This is actually you looking like you're coming up now and you're like feeling a lot better. This is happiness and joy. This is also working and focusing on your work. Other people are seeing how well you're doing and they're looking up to you. They're seeing what an amazing job you're doing at your build what you're building and also that you're like you know um people see what you're doing and you're the creator of your world you're very good at what you do oh so your thoughts are 
that you've got so much options. You need to wake up a bit because it looks like it could be like a romantic illusion. So someone's wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. They see you've got so many options, but it looks like they could be wanting to offer you some sort of financial stability. They could be trying to offer you a job or something, but you have lots of options, so trust your intuitions. So this is also your future defensive. So you're ready to fend off. So many people are coming at you. You're really there. You're kind of back, backed up to the door. You got to, It looks like you're going through the door, but it's like you're fighting off all this other stuff. So you're feeling a lot of anxiety. This is anxiety. Sleepless nights, possibly to do with an ending. An ending and a new beginning. So this is also a Scorpio. So maybe you're being defensive against a Scorpio, or Scorpio is feeling quite, um, you know, defensive and feeling kind of, you know, like they can't sleep at night because you're defensive and that. But it's a new beginning. So it's like, you know, you're ready to move forward into this new beginning. So this is also... You're fearing the sudden ending. So this is actually somebody here falling out of the tower, butt naked. So somebody has a lot of fear about this sudden kind of change. It's a sudden change, much needed shake up. Somebody here. Oh, maybe it's an ending to a third party situation. Somebody here is sh the shocking event where it's sudden ending because of a third party situation. And it's also somebody who's left out in the cold. So someone's got fears about this. Um, the sudden ending and like the third party situation it looks like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too they wanted to party and you know you but you've left the one in the cold and now you're moving down into a new job opportunity a new pathway something new and exciting so other people see you as a little bit sort of younger they see you as like maybe coming in with a love offer friendship or some sort of apology but also that they see you as very intuitive. You could have intuitive gifts, like you could be clairvoyant, you could be tarot reader, or you just have a very strong intuition. They also see that you are building amazing wealth. This is awesome wealth coming into you. To you. This is generational wealth. This is like abundance. This is wealth that can last for generations. So at the moment, it looks like you're hoping for a painful ending. Or maybe you're hoping to heal from a painful ending. Because it looks like there has been some trickery in theory. There has some been horrible deception. Some sort of lied to steal that you're dealing with. This is also a new cycle that's beginning. So you're hoping to go into a new cycle after this painful ending. You've been stabbed in the back multiple times. You're not coming back from this sort of ending. It looks like there's no way around this. And it's a new cycle. Positive new cycle. And it's like you could be going travelling. You're hoping to move forward into a new beginning. The outcome is... This is your ships coming in. This is amazing things coming in for you. You could be moving over water. You could be moving, you know, moving forward or just like ships coming in. So your manifestations are coming in now. And it looks like that you've got wish fulfillment. So you definitely have stuff coming in for you. Look at that. It looks like a ship thingy too as well. So um, looks like there's some, oh, generation. So this is actually, you're going from the nine to the 10. So this is actually happily ever after. This is, like, you know, the home, the children, the family, all your wishes coming true. But it looks like somebody here who rejected you in the past, they're coming rushing in. They rejected your beautiful cup. This is a blessing from spirit that somebody's rejected and they're coming rushing in impulsively because they see you getting this happily ever after. Be careful of this person because they could be just rushing in impulsively because they see you getting this beautiful gift here after they've rejected you as the gift that they've been presented. So just be careful. Trust your intuition because it's obvious that you're very intuitive, but it looks like you have to be very careful because somebody rushing in impulsively may be trying to stop you getting this happily ever after. So very happy for you. Bye.